Welcome to our video on reviewing a software development agreement. A software development agreement review is essential because it provides clarity on the expectations and responsibilities of both parties before proceeding with a project. If you have received a software development agreement and need to review it, this video is for you. Before we begin, a quick disclaimer. The information provided is for educational purposes only and does not constitute legal advice. For specific legal inquiries, we recommend consulting a licensed attorney. For additional information, check the description below on how to find a lawyer. We will cover top considerations when reviewing a software development agreement, key terms to find and understand in your document, and cost to hire a lawyer for review. We have also added a link in the description below with information on legal fees. Now let's get started. Top considerations for software development agreement. Software development agreements are legally binding documents between developers and clients that can significantly impact the success of a project. Here are some top considerations to keep in mind. Developer classification. Determine whether the developer is being classified as an independent contractor or an employee, as this will have tax implications and compliance requirements. Intellectual property rights. Clarify who will own the source code and other intellectual property created during the project. Compliance with regulations. Software must comply with relevant laws and standards, including data privacy regulations. And consider hiring a lawyer. It is always recommended to hire a lawyer to help review a software development agreement. They can ensure the contract is legally compliant, help you understand industry standard terms, and coach you on negotiations. We have added a link in the description to help you find one. Key terms to understand. Software development agreements contain vital terms you need to comprehend. Here are key terms to look for. One, parties involved. Make sure that the details of all parties, developer and client, are accurately stated. Two, scope of work. Identify the section describing the specific services, including timelines and deliverables. Three, payment terms. Review the payment structure, amounts, due dates, and methods of payment. Four, confidentiality. Determine what information needs to be kept confidential and how it should be handled. Five, intellectual property. Verify who retains ownership of the developed software and documentation. Six, termination clauses. Understand the conditions under which the agreement can be terminated, including notice requirements. Seven, liability limitations. Review any clauses that outline liability and indemnification responsibilities. And eight, dispute resolution. Examine how potential disputes will be resolved, such as through arbitration or litigation. Average cost to hire a lawyer. It's always wise to consult a lawyer before signing a software development agreement. Legal fees can vary based on different factors, but here's what we found. Based on recent data, the average cost to review a software development agreement is $480 on a flat fee basis. This is based on recent projects from across various US states. Legal fees can vary based on the following factors. State or location. Lawyer fees may vary based on where they are located. For example, a lawyer in New York City will likely have a higher rate than a lawyer in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Length of contract. Given lawyers traditionally bill by the hour, a longer contract with more pages will require more of their time, which can make the legal costs higher. Complexity of terms. If there are complicated terms in the agreement, it can increase legal fees since it will require the lawyer to spend more time working on the project. And service required. You can hire lawyers for different services. If you simply need the contract reviewed and explained, this will be a lower fee than also meeting the contract redlined and negotiated. Reviewing a software development agreement is vital to ensuring that both parties are on the same page and protecting your investment. If you need help from an experienced lawyer, feel free to search Contracts Council or visit contractscouncil.com and post a job to get quotes from lawyers to help you. Thanks for watching.